Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's episode is so much fun because I'm gonna teach you how to do a face swap in Photoshop. If you don't know what a face swap is, let me give you this example. If you are ever taking a picture of a group of kids, say you have two children like I do, and you are getting photos of them, but in one photo, your oldest gives you the perfect smile, but your youngest is looking away. And then in another photo, the youngest decides to smile, but the oldest is looking away. This happens, things happen, and when it does, you can do a face swap in Photoshop. I will say this is more advanced techniques. This is not something that I do often at all, but it's a really good trick to have in your back pocket just in case you need it. In this episode, I'll be going into which photos are the best to consider for face swapping and which ones are not. And I will also go into the technicalities of how to do it and show you behind the scenes of Photoshop and let you see me doing a face swap on a picture of my two boys. In the comments below, let me know if you have ever needed this trick before. Have you ever had a session that you just wished that you could swap the faces out on the photo? I know that I have certainly been there. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Kayla Brent. I'm a motherhood photographer and founder of Mom Photography School, where I teach mom to take gorgeous everyday photos of their family. And I also have a course called Editing Essentials. I love 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 photoshop and i have a youtube episode all about why i choose photoshop over lightroom and one of the big reasons is photoshop can do everything lightroom can do plus so much more including the space swapping so we will be in photoshop for this episode before we dive in make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for all the mom photography tips and mom hacks Let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing that you want to consider are the photos that you're face swapping. I highly recommend, especially if you're a beginner to this, to use photos that were taken at the same spot in the same angle. So if you were in one spot taking the photos and someone looks away and then they look back, that one is great to consider for face swapping. What you don't want is a photo taken in one location and then taken in another location because the lighting is going to be different, there's gonna be different shadows on their face and it might not look real. So that's our goal here. We want this to look real and we want it to look like it's not Photoshopped, of course. For this tutorial, I'm going to be choosing two photos that were shot in the same location at the same time. They were literally taken just minutes from each other. So I have the photo of my oldest. He has his arm around my youngest, but he doesn't have the happiest face in the world. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a photo that I took just moments before where he was smiling and I am going to put it on his face with his brother's arm around him. So now that we know what we're looking for as far as the photos to face swap, as we are learning to do this, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Photoshop. I do wanna say, yes, you can get photos that are from a totally different day at a totally different time and totally different lighting and make it work. However, it's gonna take much more advanced Photoshop to make it look real. So that's why today I'm suggesting for you to use the same photos from the same place in the same lighting at the same time. <laughs> okay, the first thing you want to do is pull up both of the photos that you're going to face swap with. These are my two images. I'm gonna take this happy face here and I am gonna put it on my son right there. If you need to edit your photos, do that first and have them edited and ready to go. And I just saw in here, I, miss, I have two L's in watermelon, ignore that. Um, but we are going to take this face 
first and then drag it to the next one. And the way we want to start by doing this is hitting the W. That is this tool right here. This is your quick selection tool and the shortcut is W, grab that. If you need step-by-step -step instructions for this, you can catch my blog post. Again, I have this written out. But now that I have my quick selection tool, I'm just holding down and I am going to grab his face here, even a little bit of his hair. Um, we can get rid of what we don't need later. So I have this here and I even got a little bit of the neck, cause why not? And I'm gonna right click and I am going to layer via copy and see what happens here is it creates a new layer so i am going to title this face and if you're following along i would keep your titles of the layers the same as i have here so you don't get lost now that i've done that i simply hit v and the v is your move tool and what this allows you to do is it allows you to to move the layers that you made. So we just made this layer and see this is what happens. So we just made that layer, awesome. So we have his face now, but now we wanna drag it to our image that it's actually gonna go on. So just do by doing this, I'm holding down, I'm dragging to this tab up here. Oh, first I need to hit check. Um, now I'm gonna take this and drag up here and I am just gonna simply drop it. Okay, so and now we can get busy putting this where it goes. Of course, we know it's gonna go here, but it's a little large. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our face layer is selected, take the opacity and bring it on down so that we can still see the layer, but we can also see what's going on underneath. I like to start by kind of placing one of the eyes together so I can see where the eyes are. And for this, he is actually tilted and you can tilt it as well. And I see here that his eyes are much bigger in the layer that we have. So I'm gonna make it smaller just by dragging the corner in until I get it about the same here. And let's see, you can turn this off and turn it back on to kind of see where you're at. You can even up the opacity here and his face still looks rather big to me. So I'm gonna turn this back on I'm gonna lower the opacity again so I can see what's going on behind me. And I'm gonna keep going here. Line this up. Oh, that's starting to look better. See, this is here and here. Okay, even though all of this is kind of messed up there and there are still issues and we have work to do, this is getting much more believable. That sizing looks about right. So now I can move on to the next step. And what we want to do is we want to make a mask layer. And before I show you what a mask layer is, I wanna show you why a mask layer is important. Right now, if when this is, I have done this before, and I'm gonna show you why this is a bad method, is just erasing a part of this layer by hitting E, grabbing the erase tool, and going in here and starting to erase. Well, I'm erasing, I'm erasing in, and then uh-oh, I accidentally got in there like that, and I didn't wanna do that. I want his happy face on there, but, maybe I didn't notice and I just kept on going and I worked a whole bunch and I got all of this exactly right. Well, there's a problem. I have to undo a lot of what I did to get that back. So erasing is uh, not forgiving. You are just stuck with it unless you control Z and sometimes you keep clicking, there's not enough history there and you can't even get it back. So. This is what a mask tool does. So we are have our face layer selected. You are gonna go down here to what looks like a little camera and it says add layer mask. You're gonna add that there. Okay, so, and I want you to notice the color palette over here. So it's got black and white. Now, now that we have the face layer selected, we are gonna hit B and that selects our brush tool. And here is what the mask layer does. If you have the brush tool and you have black, what happens is when you use the brush tool, it gets in black, it gets rid of it. Now, what you can do is switch this to white and it will add it back in the, the places that you want to add it back. And you can do this all day long. So you can take it away things, put them back. It is super, super, super forgiving. So now I just wanna show you what a mask layer is and I've kind of started all over from that. 
now I'm gonna show you now that I have this here and now you know what a mask layer is, what I'm going to do with it. So I have the brush tool selected, I have it on black and I have my mask layer selected there. I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see real good here. And he had blueberries and I'm pretty sure that's blueberry in his teeth. We had all the fruits that day, I guess. I am going to take this here and I'm gonna start erasing. And remember, this is a face swap. If there are parts of the face that you erase or get rid of, that's fine. We are mainly focusing on, for this purpose, the eyes and the mouth. So I am going to just take off what I don't need. And the lighting was a little bit different between one of these and the other, you can tell. See, it's like darker, but I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be just the most perfect thing in the world. We just want it to be believable. And there's that to that. And while there's things that, yes, there's just definitely things that are a little off, if you didn't know it, would you ever think there was anything wrong with that? And I constantly, as I do these, I constantly zoom out and kind of look at where I'm at. And remember, if you try something, you're like, hey, I wanna try a little bit of taking this off here and seeing what, if I remove this, the hair in the layer, does it look okay? If you decide it does, you can control Z because of course his hair moved from image to image. All right. Well, I am, there's a little, his, you can get this as small as you want it, by the way. I'm gonna get right in here, just fine tune a few things here. And voila, I'm pretty happy. So there's that, there's a face swap. This is what it was before, and this is after. And there's where we pulled it from. Huh. So there you have it, how I do a face swap quickly and easily in Photoshop. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel below and make sure that you check out the next video here. Bye, friends.